Hey there, if you're discovering me right here, right now, I'm Pam Schmidt, the Chemical Minimalist. And this is a follow-up to a personal consultation that I had with a client recently. And if you're interested in getting this kind of personal consultation, I'll give you the details in just a little bit. So this client, and I'm just gonna say you, cause I'm keeping her privacy protected. Um, you wanted to eliminate or look at swapping out hand sanitizer and the sanitizing wipes because we know that they have triclosan and other um, antibacterial agents that can build up immunity. These bacteria can build up resistant immunity to um, antibiotics and antibacterial treatments. So we want to look at it natural in a natural way and reduce your toxic load. So one of the things that we talked about, and I just wanna reiterate here is, we want to look at something that gets rid of the hand sanitizer gel that is the commercial stuff that has a lot of alcohol and triclosan. There is a DIY recipe approach. And in fact, in the email that I've sent you, you will get three recipes. So you have some choice in it. Um, one of them is just pure hydrogen peroxide and you would put it in a spray bottle, plastic spray bottle, glass spray bottle, or a dropper bottle, and just apply it to your hands, and it will take care of the bacteria and the germs on your hands. And I'll give you, I'm skipping recipe two, but I'm giving you recipe three, because we talked about a DIY hand sanitizer that is alcohol-free, just for the care of your hands. And so that would involve aloe vera gel, witch hazel and jojoba oil or glycerin along with 15 to 20 drops of certain essential oils and quality essential oils matter. My recommendation here would be doTERRA On Guard and I can get that for you if you want it or you can get it from someone else. Tea tree is another essential oil that would be very good. Mix that up in your spray bottle or pump or um, squeeze bottle, whatever it is, and that can go with you on the road, or even uh, you can use it at home on your counter, uh, leave it on your counter for quick use. The other thing that we discussed was you are able to remove the germs, the bacteria, the dirt from your kitchen surfaces without the antibacterial wipes. Again, the antibacterial wipes have that triclosan and other antibacterials that are synthetic and the bacteria can become resistant to, to those chemicals and so you've got a bad cycle going. So what I recommend is looking at a quality microfiber like Norwex and there's two cloths that I would recommend just for getting things underway. It's the Enviro cloth, which is the one you wet and you are going to wipe down with it. And I didn't get it here for me to show you, but there's little microfiber fingers in that cloth and woven into each thread is um, silver, micro silver, so that the silver has the purifying ability, the purifying qualities. So what you'll do is you're picking up all of 99% of everything on the counters. You rinse the cloth, squeeze it, hang it dry. And because of the silver that's in it, this cloth will self purify within 24 hours. So all of that bacteria and dirt and all of that that's on the cloth will self purify. If you're cleaning a window, you can do the same thing and then finish up with the second cloth I recommend, and that's the Norwex window cloth. It has that same self-purifying ability. You're going to use it dry. It's very easy to just get rid of streaks or dry the counter, you know, and you're able to avoid all of those antibacterials. There are many other products I could recommend, but I wanted you to get some starting steps. So. Other viewers, if you're looking at this and you're thinking, I would like to look at one particular thing to swap out or one room to remove the toxic load because I want to improve my health, this is a great place to start. So contact me 
and um, we can set up a personal consultation. It's, it's quick, it's easy. What we do is we talk on phone or by Zoom and we figure out what it is that you want to swap out. I ask some questions, find out a little bit about you. And then what I say is let me come back to you with some ways that you can do this. I need to sit with it, just kind of let it come to me. And then I'll get back to you with an email and in that email will also be a video like this and a print printable way to uh, get my remedies and keep them on your fridge. So watch for more videos. I'm so glad you're here. Thanks. Bye.